Welcome to Devices Setup channel and today we will learn how to set up the Billink AC2600, RE650 and RE655 and AC1900, RE550 Wi-Fi extender. So to start the setup, first plug the extender in the same room as the router and wait for its power LED to get stable. Now there are three methods to set up the extender. First is via WPS, second via app and third is via browser. So let's learn the WPS method first. In this, you will have to press the WPS button present on the extender once for around two seconds. Then within two minutes, press the WPS button on the router once. You can check the video in the description. If you can't find the WPS on the router, now within 60 seconds, the extender will get connected to your router. The solid internet LED on the extender confirms a successful setup. And if you don't have a solid WPS light on the extender, then it could be possible that the WPS is disabled on the router. Watch our video on how to enable WPS on the router. Now let's learn the second method that is set up via app. For this, you will need to download the Tether app for your Android or iOS device. The link to download the app is in the description. You can download it from there. Make sure your extender is plugged into a power source and have a solid power LED. Now once you have downloaded and installed the app, open the app and log in into the app using the TP-Link ID and password. If you already don't have a TP-Link account, then you can create one. Next, select range extender as your device that you want to add. After this, the app will ask for your permission to join TP-Link extender network name. You can then create a login password for this extender. Then it will ask you to select the network name that you want to extend and type its password for verification. And if your router is dual band, then select the 5 GHz network and type its password too. Next, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Now, for the third method too, make sure extender is plugged into a wall outlet near your router with power LED on. Next, use your phone or computer and connect to TP-Link extender network showing up in your Wi-Fi list. Once connected, open a browser on the same device and into the URL type tplinkrepeater.net and hit search or enter. This will take you to the extender's login page. And if it don't, then type 192.168.0.254 into the URL to access the setup page. On the setup page, follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup. Here, it will ask you to select the network name that you want to extend and type its password for verification. After the setup is complete, the extender network will show up in the Wi-Fi list with EXT network. And if you have enabled the one mesh feature on the extender and you have one mesh compatible router, then the TP-Link extender SSID will be same as your routers. Plus, the password is also same as your router's Wi-Fi password. So this is how you can set up TP-Link RE650, RE655, RE550 Wi-Fi extender. And in case if the above mentioned setup steps doesn't work, then simply reset the extender by putting a paper clip inside the reset hole of the extender for around 10 seconds while the extender is still plugged into the wall. After 10 seconds, release the pin and then wait for around 2 minutes until the extender reboots properly. Then you can try any of the above setup methods again. Finally, if you found the video useful, then please do kindly give this video a thumbs up and please do subscribe to the channel. This will immensely help my channel. So see you beautiful people in the next video. Until then, have a blessed day.